I've watched you in practice and you go from special teams to uh, the offensive period, you're part of the offense. How did you come into this season and prepare for all of these things that, that they've got you doing now? I honestly had a talk with Sproles during the summer when I was training, and he was like, be ready for anything they throw at you. All right, here we go, man, here we go. I told him, I'm gonna be ready when I get, when I get there for camp. Ooh, pop right there, good, four by four, I like it. Whatever they needed me to do, I was doing, whether it was offense, scout team, special teams, and I believe them seeing that in camp and all the preseason, me able to do all those things at a high level, it kind of gave them confidence in me and trust in me that, hey, you could do this. And even Coach Fipp, the special teams coach, he came to me during camp like, I seen the switch go on and don't let it go off. Ones are up! Clear the field, full cover, ones are up! At the end of the day, you gotta go out there and make plays and compete. And if you don't do that, you won't, you won't last. So I made it my business to do that. And they give it a Smallwood touchdown. Wendell Smallwood. It's quite different from coming from West Virginia, where you're the man, and coming into this situation where you're one in a number of running backs. How tough is that for you to wait your turn? I feel like I've, I've learned to wait my turn. When I came into this league, I knew what it felt like to be number two and number three, and I knew what it felt like to be number one. When you've always been number one and you, and you go somewhere, and you, you're not number one, you're not the guy. Some people don't know how to handle it, but I just put my head down and go to work. And I feel like the number one thing Deuce does is prepares everyone in the room to be ready for whatever is gonna happen. Even with the games I wasn't in the game plan, my notes are full as if I was playing. So I know everything and I believe Deuce knows that I know everything and I learn everything. Even when another guy might be doing it, I might not get the rep one week in practice. And I know being on this team, sometimes I might not get the play or rep all week. We get in the game and I get the play or I get the, I get the route and I'm like, man, good thing I studied this because if I didn't, I wouldn't have known what was going on. They called your number in a crucial time in the game on Sunday. You scored that touchdown that was the go-ahead touchdown. Um, what did you see on that play? Again, I didn't have that play all. I didn't have that play all <laughs> week, but I knew specifically what Stout told me to look for. And I seen they had two safeties high, and I'm like, oh man, this should this should hit exactly what Stout said it would hit at. And I just rolled the guard and. Kelsey pushed, got the line, got the guys off the line, a huge, huge hole, but I just had to wait for it. And once I did, I just hit it and ended up in the end zone. I'm like, dang, that's exactly how the coach, the coach <laughs> said it would work. Well, no, as a guy that grew up in the area down in Delaware, we're happy to see your growth. Congratulations and keep working. Thank you. Appreciate it.